It's been proven that the air you breathe can affect many aspects of your health. Do you know if your home is making you sick? We spoke to Aaron Porter, who became very sick at a young age and after countless antibiotic treatments over the years couldn't get well. Erin tells us about her 16-year journey that led her to a doctor who was to change her life for the better. I was about six years old. We had just moved from an apartment in the Bronx up to a house in upstate New York, which we didn't know at the time, but had mold issues. And so I came down with asthma and allergies. And then at 18, I moved into an apartment that had visible mold. And that's where my health just took a nosedive. Erin tells us about the first time she met Dr. Donald Dennis. I found Dr. Dennis back in 1999. I was very sick when I went to see him, and he took out my tonsils and my adenoids. But that was just a, the tip of the iceberg of what was wrong with me. I had so many health issues. I had fibromyalgia and heart arrhythmias and restless leg and neuropathy. But at that point in time, he just dealt with my adenoids and tonsillectomy. And um, I f moved out of state about two weeks after that surgery. Years later, Erin sought out Dr. Dennis. I was about to have my fifth sinus surgery. Uh, my condition was so serious that I had three different ENTs in Tampa all telling me the same thing. You can't leave this infection in your head. I had serious infections, Pseudomonas, Staph. I had Aspergillus, which is a fungus. And they said, we, we want to do the surgery, but we can't guarantee you a week later you wouldn't be sick again. In my heart, I knew I would be sick again. This was my life for 25 years. I felt like I was dying. And I thought, these doctors, they can't find out what's wrong with me, and I'm just going to die. And what came over me when I was praying was, Dr. Dennis is going to be the one to help you, and he's going to change your life. So I was watching TV. Uh, 16 years later, I saw Dr. Dennis, recognized him right away as the doctor that I wrote about in my journal. And I thought, okay, this is gonna be my last opinion. I'm gonna fly up, I'm gonna see him. I feel like I'm being led to go see him. And I jumped on a plane, made an appointment, and he sure did help me. She gave me the history, but she'd had four operations and was gonna get a fifth. And so, and she'd been on every antibiotic known to man, so I knew that didn't work. So most commonly it's fungus, and as the exam shows, she did have a fungus ball in her sinus. So then I knew she was getting contaminated from her environment. And uh, we had to remove the fungus ball and address the environmental air. And then she could have long-term wellness. He made me realize that although I was doing a lot of the right things, I was using antifungals and I was, um, I was eating an antifungal diet, the component that was missing was I wasn't addressing my air. So as long as I was not addressing the mold in the environment and testing my house and my clothes and seeing if there was an issue, I was going to stay sick. So once uh, he told me that I need to address the air, we bought filters and I live completely different. We had to do a lot to our house and rip out carpets. The air you breathe is 5x more important to your health than all medical treatment because you're breathing more air than you're doing anything else. So if you're allergic to particles in the air, you've got to get those particle counts down. And we do that in several ways. One is air filtration, and there's a products called EC3 products, which are made by Microbalance that makes the air fungal load drop to zero if you use them properly. So you can, uh, treat the air with a spray or a fog or, or the candles and you can wash your clothes in a laundry additive. So you, you're getting a total fungal load down in your environment. People like Aaron are especially sensitive to mold and fungus. For the most part, fungus doesn't hurt the vast majority of the population because they don't have a hypersensitivity to it. As she does, these people who have chronic sinusitis have a T-cell defect in the receptor where they react 3,000 times normal, and each one of those 3,000 T-cells secretes three mediators that make it 9,000 times the inflammation. So a little bit of fungus goes a long way in these people. So if you don't address the environmental air, uh, which is the largest load they get, you never get anywhere long term, even if you use antifungals. 
When we come back, find out how Aaron Porter is feeling today. Erin Porter reveals her transformation to a healthy life and why she started her website, eatpraygetwell.com. I feel fantastic. He saved my life. My prognosis was not good. Um, I was eventually looking at uh, meningitis or erosion of the bone from infection sitting there so long. People don't understand that their environment is what's going to keep them sick. They can throw antibiotics and antifungals at their issue all day long, and if they don't address the air, they're gonna stay sick. And the Mayo Clinic proved in 1999 that 93% of all sinusitis is fungal in nature. So you have to take a look at your environment and see if it's an issue, or you'll never get better. I started Eat, Pray, Get Well because I knew there had to be millions of people out there like me that were losing hope in their doctors, were sick and didn't know why, and had many different ailments and thought they were all separate and just losing, losing hope. The website was also important to me because I know there's so many people out there suffering with chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia and the doctors are telling them they're never gonna get better. And I'm here to say that I'm proof that you can. And I was shocked that once I learned that my problem was fungus, I started on antifungals and I just watched my whole world transform. Started an antifungal diet, and the fibromyalgia went away, the chronic fatigues, the heart arrhythmia, um, the restless leg. I was completely healed of all those things, so I'm convinced that fungus was the culprit. So I wanna give people hope, and it's something easy that they can try. Try an antifungal, see if you get better. Try an antifungal diet, and you might just watch your world transform too.